It seems that I cannot get enough of Ohlama. Ohlama hands down is one of the best, easiest, fastest way to run large language models quickly and swiftly on your local machines. I have been using Ohlama for quite some time and it is really refreshing to see that it gets evolved and more feature rich as the days are passing. In this video, I am going to show you how you can run your own model fine tune from any base model or even a model created from scratch with the help of Olama. Olama has a special construct called as model file for that matter and we will create a model file from scratch on our local system and then we will use a base model to use it as an our own model with different customizations. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on cheap prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to Olama, if you don't know what Olama is, please search my channel and you should be able to find heaps of videos on Olama. So for instance, if you just search it here on the channel, you should be able to see that there are hundreds of videos on Olama with different models from different angles, some with the features, some with the integrations, and then uh, you can create chatbots, you can do a lot of stuff with Olama here. And if you are just looking for some installation videos on Windows, on Linux, you can also check it out. So there are heaps of videos. Uh, so do check it out on Olama. I think you won't be disappointed. Okay. Now, if you still want a quick way to download and install it, all you need to do is to go to Olama's website and I will drop the link in video description. Simply click on download. And if you are using Windows, just download this exe file and then click on next, next, next. You should be able to install it. If you are using Linux, then simply copy this file, go to your terminal and run it and it is going to install Olama. And that is about it. There is nothing else you need to do. Okay, so now let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this GPU card of NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAP courtesy masked compute. The good thing about Olama is that you can run it on CPU smallish models of course and you can also run it on commodity GPUs like 4GB VRAM, 8GB, 16GB VRAM easily. Let me clear the screen. So first let me show you how to run the Olama. So I am presuming that you already have installed it with the command which I showed you. After that simply do Olama list. As you can see that I already have few of the models downloaded. You, if it is first time you are doing it, you will see a, as a blank their output. In order to download the models, all you need to do is to run this Olama run, Llama 3. And if it is not present, it is going to download it. If it is already present, which is the case in my situation, it is just going to give you a prompt and you can start playing around with it on the prompts such as this. And you can chat with the model. And to exit, just click buy. But this is not what we want to do. We want to create our sort of use our own model and then with the help of model file. Now model file is quite handy here. Let me show you how to use the model file. First up, just create a file with the name model file and it should be exactly the same name model file here and that is done. Then open the model file in any editor of your choice and here you would need to specify the configuration of your own model let me paste it here so what is happening here is that first up i need to use the from class to give it the base model and it could be any model which is supported by olama and if you want to know which models are supported by olama go to olama's website on the top right click on models and then these are all the models and there are lots of them which are supported by Olama and you can select any one of them which you like. 
let's go back to the terminal so i have just gone with llama 3 if it is present on your local system all good otherwise it is going to download it when you run it anyway and then afterwards there are four lines which are specifying the parameters now these are the parameters that define the behavior of the model so for example i have defined the hyperparameter or parameter temperature the temperature of the model determines how much creative model will get if the value is higher like closer to one or one as we have set it one it will be more creative if it is zero then it will be deterministic it won't vary its responses with every question and you can set it in the middle too also by default it comes with 0.8 in olama then i have set another uh, hyperparameter called as num underscore ctx or context window of the model so this is telling the model that it is going to use 4096 tokens to predict the next token and token means word or sentences depend upon how the model is treating it and then we have top p and top k parameters which control the output of the model so top k reduces the probability of generating nonsense a higher value will give more diverse answer while a lower value will be more conservative and we have set it to 70 so which is a bit higher so response will be more diverse top p it works with top k and higher value will lead to more diverse and lower value will generate more focused and conservative uh, text and it is basically just select some token from the cumulative value of the tokens okay and then towards the end i have set it the system prompt which is the prompt for the model that what exactly it's supposed to do so for example i am just trying to treat llama 3 model here as um, my fancy and then acting as a romantic partner you can just give it any role you like and then you can just imagine you can do a very easy simple role play with it now in the from clause not only you can specify the model name from olama or anything but if you have your own model and normally you would save them as a dot bin file you can simply give the full path to that dot bin file and it will use your dot bin file make sure that is a valid bin file so that is all done let me save the file and there are few other hyperparameters too which you can get from olama's website okay so i have saved it now in order to create your own model all you need to do is to run this command olama create my llama 3 and then dash f pass to that file which we have just created so let me run it and there you go if you do olama list you see your oh, your model is at the top here my llama 3 let me clear the screen and then you can simply run it my llama 3 it is going to use llama 3 as your romantic partner you can talk with it hi sweetheart and then let's see what it, there you go you see hi love so the response is just like a fiance what's the plan or tonight that's it how about a movie there you go so you see how easy it is to do the role play or just you know maybe you can use it as a financial advisor as a legal advisor marketing person your own teacher your own friend whatever you like it is going to do that so this is how easy it is to sort of add your own personality your own character to an existing model or to use olama with uh, any of your own models so maybe you have fine-tuned a model from your own custom data and you have saved it as a dot pin file and then you can simply use it or you can even put it on olama's website if you want to share it with public and then you can use it from there so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think and the commands which i have used i'm going to put them in the blog and i will drop the link in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching